Today we're going behind the panel on the new Brother Sear 2 air conditioners. Chadwell Supply has done a great job at building a newer, quieter, more cost-effective system, and in doing so, there are some adjustments that need to be made. Going forward, you'll see some differences in the unit that aren't like previous units. They are the way we can achieve efficiencies to maintain the federal regulations on SEER 2. There are also additional resources at ChadwellSupply.com to help you alongside this video. To walk you through these new features, we're here with our brother SEER 2 unit, nicknamed Chili Willie. Willie has been up and running in our warehouse for over 150 days. We started him up in a hot warehouse in Tampa, Florida in the middle of the summer. It's hot, it's humid, and Chile is still blowing out cold air. Now let's take a look at the brains of the operation. You'll notice there are two boards once we pop off the access panel. One is the main control board, and the other is the fan control board. The two of these combine to make sure that there are no catastrophic failures, and if there are any problems, there are diagnostics to tell you exactly what's going wrong. Now some of you experienced maintenance pros might look at this and say, wait a minute, there's a board there, there's blinking lights, did you send me a heat pump by mistake? No, we didn't. Those boards are there to help us meet the SEER 2 regulations by the federal government. This technology has been available for many years, but it's the first time we've used it in this product line. The need for technology is going to grow in future years as the standards become higher and higher. Let's do a quick review of what each board does and find out how it helps it be more safe, more effective, and aids you in troubleshooting the system if there are any problems. The smaller panel with the red light controls the fan motor. If the red light is steady, as it is here, the fan and motor are operating normally. If the red light is blinking fast, there may be an issue with the fan motor. To troubleshoot this, disconnect the power, unplug the fan motor, and check the components. You'll notice we added a quick disconnect for the fan motor. It'll make it easier to remove the housing and work on the unit, whether you need to take it back to the shop or work on it next to your unit. This larger board is a DC inverter which helps achieve the necessary SEER 2 energy efficiency rating. This board controls the compressor, monitors voltage to the unit, and is designed to protect against catastrophic failure. The board also controls the sequence at startup. The compressor comes on first, pushes the refrigerant, then the motor comes on. When starting up, the board runs a self-diagnostic to make sure every part of the system is running properly. Expect at least a 15 second delay for this cycle to complete. The control board is equipped with two LED indicator lights, green and yellow, that tell you the status of the system at a glance. If the green light is solid, the system is good and operating normally. If the green light is blinking, the unit is in standby mode. If this is the initial installation, wait 15 to 20 seconds for startup. This delay is intentional. It is a normal step in the operation of these units. If the green light is blinking, and this is not the initial installation, something occurred that caused the unit to reset and run a self-diagnostic before restarting. For example, if an electrical surge happened, the control board will keep the system in standby mode until the voltage returns to normal. Wait five minutes for the diagnostic cycle to complete. If everything checks out, the unit will restart at that time. If the green light is on and the yellow light is blinking, the diagnostic check found something wrong with the operation of the system. A flashing yellow light means it's time to check the LED diagnostic table. There's one in the manual, and we'll also have a quick access one at ChadwellSupply.com. There's a link in the video description. If you'll be working on these units, make sure to save that link or download the LED diagnostic table to your phone for easy access. To use the LED diagnostic table, count how many times the yellow light flashes in eight seconds and match that to what is indicated as the cause on the table. For example, if the yellow light is flashing two times every eight seconds, this indicates a T4 temperature sensor error. If the yellow light is flashing eight times every eight seconds, that indicates a fan motor feedback error. 
But what if the green light is on, the yellow light is flashing, and the system has not come back on after running the self-diagnostic check? There are several reasons why the control board will lock the system down after a diagnostic check. To protect the system, the board will not let the unit run if it finds a fault that may result in catastrophic system failure. For example, if low or high pressure protection occurs six times in an hour, or if the T3 or T5 temperature protection error occurs multiple times in a specific time frame, the system will shut down and lock. If the system is locked and not restarting, then it may be time for a full reset. To perform a full reset, disconnect the power, wait a few seconds, recheck the system, and make sure everything is installed and connected properly. Reconnect to power. Remember to wait at least five minutes for the system to run the diagnostic check. If the green light is steady, everything is good. If it's blinking, wait for the diagnostic cycle to complete. If the yellow light starts to blink, check the LED diagnostic table again. If, after five minutes, the system has not restarted, run the reset cycle again. This time, wait 20 minutes for the system to run the diagnostic, to reset and restart. Remember this delay is designed to protect the system. As we wrap up our overview of the Brothers SEER 2 unit, there are three important takeaways. First, on initial installation, you need to wait 15 to 20 seconds once you've put power to the unit for the unit to start its self-diagnostic. The compressor will start first and then the fan motor will come on after. Secondly, after a reset, you need to wait three to five minutes for the self-diagnostic to run and to reset the system. Lastly, if the LED light on the fan motor control board continues to blink, you must disconnect all power, wait about 15 seconds, and then restore power to reset that LED. For more helpful articles and videos, please check out our product knowledge page on chowelsupply.com forward slash PK. If you have any other questions about this product or any others that we offer, feel free to reach out to us at any time. We're here to serve you.